Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted earlier today about how to draw a snowflake. They had a snowflake, and some people said trace it. Some people said this. Some some person suggested using WW Flakes as a font. And if you go to dafonts.com and just type in flake, that font will come up. I've seen that font before. I'm not entirely impressed with it. Um, like this font right here, we'll pull it out. We'll make it bigger. It's not a. It is a vector file, but there's some problems with it. It's not. It's not perfect. I mean, it's got some rounded corners, and you could take time to, you know, convert it to a curve. You could trace it, but if it's not good. Uh, it isn't going to trace good. I mean, you could take out, you know, well, let me back up here. With the shape tool, you could delete that one. You know, delete these. But you're still going to be off center. So, instead of cleaning that font up, I drew this in like two minutes. And it's good, crisp, clean vector. So, I'm going to use this one for an example. Mine's a little bit different. I think I didn't shape my uh, parts as good as they did, but it'll be a good clean vector file. So we're going to take a rectangle. We're going to make a box. Doesn't matter what size. We're going to control D and make a duplicate of that box. And we're going to make this box only three inches long. I had my ratio locked, so I need to unlock my ratio to go three inches. And then it'll be the same width as the other one. I'm going to take this box and I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is bring down an indexing line. So I have something to attach to. And I'm going to have that thing snap to that indexing line. It didn't quite get there. Let me zoom in a little bit. Taking this corner and it should snap. Evidently, I don't have... snap to guidelines on so now it'll work and just back up and snap right to it control d and make a duplicate and mirror it take this exact corner and have it snap right there now you could do many of things with this but i'm going to select these two control d and make a duplicate start moving and then hold down the control button and I can already see I didn't make my shaft long enough, so I'm going to take my, I'm going to convert it to a curve. So now my, and I'm going to change my nudge factor to, let's see how long this is, 6 inches. We're going to change it to 0.5 inches. Grab those two nodes and just cursor down or arrow down a little bit. Now, a lot of times weld won't work in this situation, but it did. It welded everything fine. Everything's good. Now what I'm going to do is bring in a... I'm going to put this in the center of the page by hitting P. I'm going to draw a two-point line and hit P. So now I know where the center of my object is. I'm going to grab the object. I'm going to control D, make a duplicate of that object. But I'm going to take my rotation, double-click on it. I'm going to move my rotation. To see my line is helping me snap to it. Then I'm going to rotate that because there's six sides of that. I'm going to rotate it 60 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. Now it's a little bit further apart than my first one, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to group these, Control G, and hit P on the keyboard. Since there's six sides, we're going to take a six-sided polygon and hit P. Now we're going to go and weld all that together. Fill it in with black. And there's you a snowflake. Now you could do a lot with that. You could change it up. Uh, we could do a little bit more than this. We could take, well, let's go ahead and weld that back. And let's take in another polygon. Six-sided, make it a little bit smaller and hit P. We could make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to hold down the... Let me zoom in here. 
grab my pick tool. I'm going to hold down the shift button so it'll grow from the outside or inside out. And then I'm going to hit my smart fill tool. And I've got a totally different look than the first one. Now, the good thing about this with the smart fill, you don't need those cut lines anymore. But I think this person actually wanted to, well, you would normally want to cut this out. But one thing good about this, you can make it any size you want. We'll take away these cut lines. And all you have to do, and I, I used the insert character to look at the characters. I just made a video last week about this. But I just typed in WW Flakes, and here's all the examples. There's a lot of flakes. Some of them might be better than that one. Uh, let's just look at one, see how good it is. See, it's not perfect either. You know, it's got, it's really, it's not very good at all. But anyway, if you wanted to cut out this snowflake, let's zoom in here a little bit. Just, let's get rid of this. Let's left click, right click, and it is a hairline, so you could cut this snowflake out. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.